I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs. I have this shadow box that I got with some other things at an auction and I am going to take it apart and make a shadow box for my bathroom in the basement. It's not my normal style. Usually I have more of a primitive look, but in this bathroom I have done some white frilly uh, lacy looking things. So I'm just going to take it apart. It has a backing and then this is just some cardstock and some ribbon and it's got some little foam board with another piece of cardstock attached. So I'm going to take this part apart and I will use this I will use this as my base. I have this scrapbook paper here and I'm going to use it as the background behind the shadow box. I'm going to put this on here to use as a guide. Then I'm going to glue that on to this and I'll just reuse this piece. Just using a glue stick. So that will be my new backing for the shadow box. I've got this bottle. It's plastic, but it has a nice size to it and I think it's going to fit in there just right. So I'm going to make a vintage looking label for this and then I'm going to add it to my shadow box. I printed this label out. I found it on the graphics ferry and then I shrunk it so that it was narrower so it would fit better on the bottle. I'm going to cut that out. And then I'm going to use some Mod Podge to attach it to the bottle. And then I'm going to add some little pearls to the bottle. So to be able to kind of see what I'm doing here and work from the front, I went ahead and I popped the glass out. And I'm going to put the backing back on the shadow box so I can see and see how much room I have that will allow me to work with my placement then also from graphics fairy I printed out this label it's a soap label and I also had to shrink it down quite a bit to make the right size for my box so to make a bar of soap I've taken some corrugated cardboard that was just from a shipping box. And I cut three pieces. They're each three inches by one and a half inches. And I glued them together using some tacky glue. And then I'm going to create a wrapper with some tissue paper. I've got a double layer of tissue paper here. I'm going to wrap it kind of like I would a gift, but with a few more wraps so that it definitely covers up the color of the cardboard. And then I'm going to go back and use the Mod Podge again.
going to cut this off. Then I'm going to Mod Podge the label onto the front of the bar of soap. I have this fabric in my scrap fabric. I don't really know what kind of fabric it is, but it looks like something that a hanky might have been made out of. So I've taken it and cut a nine inch square pressed over two of the edges and then I could sew this but I'm going to try to make this a no sew project for those of you that don't have a sewing machine so I'm just going to use some glue and I'm going to glue down the edges and then I have this really dainty lace that I think would look good and would look like it could have been used on a handkerchief. So I'm going to add a small bit of glue along the edge here. I'm going to add this lace. So I have this mirror, it's just an old vintage mirror and the glass is broken in it so I don't mind using some sticky to attach it because it's already broken. And then I took my homemade hanky and I've used a, it's a vintage earring, just a clip on earring and I've used that to gather it at the top. And I'm just going to arrange this in here until I get it a look that I like. I'm going to try glue dots. And then I've also got some of this sticky floral tape. I'm going to try just using a glue dot to hold the bottle in place. Probably I could use hot glue also. I'm just going to put these around the edge of the bottle on the bottom. Now for the soap, I want it to be away from the back a little bit, up front, closer to the front, and I want it to be off of the bottom a little bit, not quite touching the bottom. So I'm going to use a piece, I, I glued together two pieces of cardboard. And 
then I'm going to use those on the bottom of the soap. I think for these larger items, I'm going to have to use this tacky floral tape to get it to stick. So I'll start with this. Put a little bit around the top here. Over here. Double some up here. The only downside to this is once it's stuck, it's pretty well stuck. So you want to make sure you have it where you want it. I think that turned out pretty good. I'm going to hang it in my basement bathroom. I hope this inspires you to create something new today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.